Having charged the cells that we recovered for the first time at the half amp rating, uh, now we want to measure the capacity of these cells, uh, so we need to, to, to discharge them. And this is a very useful guy. Um, I think you've seen it in other videos of mine, just used as an electronic load. Uh, but it does have um, a different mode that you can put it into to, to do exactly what we want to do, which is to test the capacity of batteries uh, on, on discharge. So to change this from the load uh, function to the battery capacity measurement, um, what we have to do is first switch it off. Then we just hold the run button down whilst we power it up. And we can see there it's in uh, function one. Function one is the electronic load change it to function 2 which is what we need for the capacity testing. So we press 1 again, that's just for the beeper function and at the top here you can set the the voltage that you want to cut off at so that's set currently to 2.7 and obviously you need to set the load um, so here it's uh, 440 milliampères and uh, I'll show you from the data sheet how we arrived at those numbers. From your web browser of choice, uh, just do a search for the number that you'll find located on the on the battery. Uh, in this instance, uh, this isn't exactly the same, but it's uh, it's a Samsung cell, um, very very similar. So we it gives us all the information that we need the capacity and the discharge voltage. So here we can see to, to test the, the capacity we need to discharge a rate of 0.2 C. So if C is 2200 milliampere hours 0.2 times that is the 0 0.44 amps or 440 milliamps and on the discharge module um, we don't have the, the granularity to get to the 7.5 so I've just set that to, to 2.7 which is close enough and obviously we know that the the charging voltage is 4.2 we saw that from the from the charging rig nominal voltage and you'll uh, get all the information that you need from the from the data sheet at um, generally speaking if you can't find the exact cell that you're, uh, you're testing, uh, you can take a guess at the milliampere hours. It's going to be around the sort of 2000 level. So 0.2 C, uh, half an amp or, or lower, and you'll be able to find out uh, what the capacity is. So now with the cell in place, all that we need to do to start is to press the run button and it'll start uh, discharging the battery. The top display is cycling through, uh, now it's on volts, now it's on ampere hours and finally watt hours. So it'll cycle through those and obviously as the as the voltage declines and gets towards the 2.7 and uh, when it gets to 2.7 it'll cut off and tell us the capacity. That's obviously going to take a while, so we'll come back when that finishes. So the discharge has finished, and we can see the result on the display here now. 1.678 ampere hours, or 1,678 milliampere hours. So we were looking for around 2,000, so it's a little under. That's hardly surprising, given that these cells have not been charged for uh, some considerable time. So now we can move on and, and do the same test with the other cells and record the, the values that we get so that we can match the cells together. Just before I go, uh, just a word about these uh, rather neat battery boxes again from Banggood. Uh, you can put the cells in either, either way around. The clips are, are the same at, at both ends. And on the back, 
you're left with the solder tags so you can solder these either in parallel or in or in series uh, as it takes your fancy so they're a neat idea as well well thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe uh, like and and share